It's Saturday morning and people have been messaging me over the last few days saying, why don't you put the sticker straight on the combine? It's not a sticker. It's made of plastic and it sits on a desk or a filing cabinet or a crop. It's uh, something we made for NFU the other year. So it just lives in the combine and we take it out sometimes. But yeah, it isn't wonky. Anyway, I'm going to get the dump trail on the fast track because they are coming today to shoot for a brochure for the fast track, eh, not the fast track, for the um, Richard Weston. So they want to use the dump trailer and I think we'll pick Joe's up as well because he's got a grey one, same as ours. Got a bit of a lean on the case there, I think we're going to have to blow it up. The tire, I mean, not the tractor. We presume the box on top of the bin is the very expensive chipper part. I know it wasn't class, uh, cap price, but it was still expensive. But it feels heavy. Anyway, that's there now, ready to be washed. Robin's going to shoot up on the fast track and pick Bill's up because his is grey, ours is yellow, and then he can have a picture of both of them. And then I'm going to fill the sprayer. Kind of needs to be filling my sprayer, but uh, I want to make sure it's clean for when they get here. Putting this powder in the sprayer, you've got to kind of like keep the bowl dry. You can, but then have the thing going in the bottom. Should just suck it all in, but it is a bit of a nuisance. That's why, I, ah, now the bag's pushing that nozzle. Got it wet. Um, that's why we tried to do it in the IBC the other day. Just occasionally it goes wrong and you end up with like a cake mixture. You struggle to get to the suction at the bottom, which is a pain. Rob's got Bill and Joe's black, grey, whatever you call it, charcoal dump trailer on Black Beauty. That one is on the fast track, looking matchy matchy. And then the guy's here now with his camera to do a testimonial. <laughs> Gonna leave him with Sam now to load it with soil and he can take some pictures. Load it with some gravel as well. There's a muck spreader, I don't know if he's taking any pictures of that, but that's pretty dirty to be fair. Out now, putting fungicide on wheat. Pretty pleased with this. This tram line's been used to go to the spud field at the other end, that's why it looks particularly wide. Well, the wheat looks really well, but you can see in places where it's like land and over there where it's starting to, to die off, really. I know we've been getting rain, but it's not been in like massive quantities and not really enough that we need, to be honest. It's certainly not as dry as it was in 2020, but it's, it has been dry, basically. Just jumped off to show you can you see the little white bits there that's the flowers on the wheat so this is starting to flower but also you look there it's quite clean a little tiny bit of grass there but in the bottom it's not too bad but if you go this side something must have gone wrong i don't know whether we missed with the pre-emergence but this has got quite a bit of grass weed in and you see how thin the rows are it's just a lot thinner to work where it's okay there and okay the other side there's just this sort of like little strip there i don't know what it was maybe we ran out of spray or something i don't know but it's just yeah it's got a little bit of grass in the bottom but it's not too bad as a whole i'm in my favorite field of wheat hope you can see it properly around no reflection off the glass it looks amazing I just hope it yields as good as it looks because the price of grain has just been dropping the last few, well, yeah, the last week or so really. Um, obviously fertiliser is now bought, so that's um, that's set. But I did sell some wheat to match the fertiliser purchase, but yeah, I could do with it having a decent harvest and some decent prices. Because we're still reeling from the 2020 drought year. I don't know if anyone else thinks it, but there's something quite, I don't know if you'd call it arty or dramatic about them trees in this landscape. You've got all this like acres of wheat and then you've just got these three sort of, well no, four huge old trees just stood there. Might get out and take a picture actually. The lines off the wheat are arrow straight. 
there's the river and then that's the other way and then there's the trees i've just took a really good picture might make the calendar next year just show you this while i'm off if you look there's some like tillers further down the plant see these little ones here i don't know whether they'll actually come to much there's another one there quite quite low down the plant i think that's because so dry really you think the spray is big till you park it next to that tree if you look over there as well you can see they've painted the lighthouse actually no it's down that bush let me just back up a bit there's a lighthouse now painted white again i'm not sure if you can see but it's in cinematic mode so you can see down all the lines if it's working and zoom in to be honest you can't zoom in in similar uh, cinematic mode there you go that's normal mode that's how straight the lines are so proper clean that tractor and trailer if you can see out the window of the merlot so rob's got the chipper going so that's a good sign you can hear it roaring away he's done a regen as well when he first started it up. A uh, little sensor's broke, but he's managed to get it to still work. And a little tiny sensor, it's like 200 quid, but it's like rusted into the old hard head that has changed. Anyway, it's uh, it's got some chip coming out of it now. Still got a big pile to go at them. Just gonna do a bit this afternoon before he goes and watches the match. Apparently there's a big football match on in a bit. I made up the chip is working because it's been obviously down for nearly 10 days now. So thanks to everyone that helped, including James, come up with the laptop a lot of times and told us what it actually was. And the guy that also said to where we could get a part a lot cheaper, that's brilliant. I've just filled the sprayer up now. It took me an hour to fill up that much stuff to put in, some of that powder, some of that stuff that I tried to mix. Fungicide, um, micronutrients, everything. It's just, yeah, big tank full as well. So I'm gonna go out and do that. It should probably take about three hours and then, uh, that's most of the week done and then I'll go on to beans for tomorrow. Quiz question for you. If you know, you know. What's that for? If you think you need uh, if you think you know, leave a comment below. Quite pleased with this wheat as well. But remember that bit where we missed with the pre-emergent herbicide? Well this is it. This is this triangle now. Look how how backwards it is compared to the rest. It's, uh, it's half the size, got no tillers on it. The grass has sort of died in the bottom from the last time I sprayed it, just a little bit. But compared to next to it, I mean, that's like nearly touching the rows, the heads. So yeah, you know, there's like a good hand width between them. Just shows you how important that stuff we put on in the autumn actually was. So yeah, it's this, this triangle here. Ever so slight breeze, but it's fungicide anyway, so should be all right. Just go nice and steady on the headlands. Hope you can see the difference, but this is obviously where it's poor with grass weeds, and then now that's where it's good again. Massive difference, isn't it? Time for the birthday bumper. Quite a lot today. Stanley Willington, Stuart Sanders, Rob Samways, Connor Mercer, the one and only Daredevil Olivia Hesketh, who drove the Corvus off the back of the pickup. His Lordship, don't know who that is, Drew Peacock, Steve Smith. So yeah, happy birthday to all you guys and anyone else whose birthday is today, don't forget if you want to be on the birthday bumper, there's a link below this video or you can scan that QR code. It's good when there's loads of names on because it means we've... Seat's blowing up. It's good when there's loads of names on because it means that we've raised loads for the air ambulance, which is fantastic. Remember that field of potatoes that was getting planted 40 days ago, exactly today? Well, this is it now, see them all? Road, planted top on them, nice and clean, looking good. Won't be long till they're in a crisp packet near you. Someone was telling me yesterday in the comments that they've watched every single video in the last three weeks. I don't even think that's possible. If there's 10 minutes long, I think you'd have to watch eight hours a day for three weeks solid. So someone must have a lot of time on hand if they've done that. Is there many people that have watched every single video or gone back through the back catalog? Because now we're getting near 800 videos. It's getting even more hard to actually do that. But I'd be interested to know if anyone has watched them all. Let me know anyway. 
lots of people were saying yesterday that they don't think the 1690 has got um, piston liners but the kit you can buy comes with piston liners so we just presumed it would do and it looked like it had a ring around it but it could have been with a head gasket was set anyway we need to sort of investigate that because it might have been done before and it's been pulled out and line has been put in but anyway we won't know i've got a little bit more spraying to do got this field to finish off now a bit of a bad patch of um, may weeds just in this corner up here hoping it will not like the, the hot weather and the wheat will overtake but anyway the the not really a football fan but local team is uh, in the champions league um, final tonight that is um i think i think that's what it's called anyway Lots of people watching probably are, and um, maybe not a football, maybe not a Liverpool fan, but football fans. The best thing I think about Liverpool is Liverpool or any sort of matches around here is it makes the roads quiet when they're playing, so that's good. I can get on quicker. But yeah, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. It'll be interesting to see when the um, Richard Weston sort of like stuff comes out on their social media and their brochures. It'll be nice to see all that, especially with the two different trailers because they had a drone out as well. So anyway, thanks for them for coming out and. Um, Thanks to Sam and Robin for coming in to sort it all out as well. So that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, one last thing before I go. Happy birthday, Emma Hamer. I miss you off the birthday bump. I didn't realise it was your birthday until after I'd done it.